Today I'm going to talk about how to be a valuer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about how to be a valuer just like me. Now before that, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please click on the subscription button and also the notification button. A few weeks ago, I have this 3 hours workshop and this young lady came over to me and shake my hand and said thank you very much Vicky for this um, session, wonderful session and I've learned a lot. I'm actually a provisional valuable but I have no intention I thought I would never ever complete my valuation course but after listening to you I feel inspired and I want to continue my valuation course and at that moment in time I think you know what I managed to inspire people by what I'm doing which is what I love doing the most and today I'm gonna share something with you on a lot of questions that people have been asking me how to be a valuer and today I'm going to share with you the journey of being a valuer first thing first property value is a professional by itself so you can't just become a valuer without a proper academic qualification so what kind of academic qualification that you need to have before you become a valuer you have to have a three years degree in property management or any relations to real estate degree that is recognized by the board. Now, long, long time ago, while I am doing my valuations, when I started off, I actually have uh, two choices. One is UM, the other one I think is UITM, or I couldn't remember. But there's only two universities that offer this course 10 or years ago. And I was given a chance to go overseas to study and I chose to study in UK. So I studied in the University of West of England, very focused on property development. This university itself actually focused so much on construction work and also property work. The course that you study must be recognized by the board. Then after you graduate, you will have to do on two years practical. Yes. This two years practical is something like a chambering for law students, but this is for valuers. You have to work with a valuation firm for at least two years. After two years, you have to write your logbook every single day on what you do every single day. And after that, two years later, the hardest part is the oral exam. Now, what is this oral exam about? All the times that we have examination, the examiner is not in front of you. But when you have examiners right in front of you, it tends to be really, really tense. Not just one, but three right in front of you, asking you a lot of questions about how much you know about your industry. After that, after this examination, once you pass this examination, then only you will have your license. Now this oral exam is very difficult because it can ask you any questions that comes to the examiner mind and it is not easy to pass. There are many people who fail a couple of times before they got into their license. Now although it's very hard to pass your valuation exam, it has got a plus point. You don't have a lot of valuable in the markets. In the whole entire market, you at most you have like thousand over people that are valuers but it's not easy to be valuable so it is very rare for you to find valuable in the market if you are really interested in this property industry and you're thinking about really seriously going into this property industry i really strongly encourage you to study valuation you will get all the three licenses this is the example of the license that you will get now this is the Board of Valuable logo and then each license will tell you that what is your license number and most importantly is what are these three licenses first of all you will get your valuation license and then you will also get your real estate agency license 
And the third one is the property management license. So it is really, really worthwhile for you to study as a valuer and you get all the three licenses and most importantly is work with license rather than illegally. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new about how to become a valuer today. If you have any questions, please comment on the below or you have any certain topic that you would like me to host, please comment on the comment below and if you like this video and you find this video you learn something from this video please like the button and share the button out so that more people can learn as much as you do thank you very much once again and i'll see you next week bye